third right there. And then boom, look at that, look at that. You get nothing. Look at that. Oh, we shot the gap. Let's go. Get this guy in off the edge. Oh, and he play action. Whoa, nope. we got yes, look at that. We I think we hit him on all three straight throws. And we gotta quit. See ya. I guarantee you he's saying like, oh my god, that guy was such a cheater. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. Got a gameplay for you guys today. That's right, I haven't put out a gameplay since maybe the first week of Mad. I've been so busy doing my ebooks. Uh, that I really haven't had a chance to do the editing that's involved when it comes to gameplays, but I got two back-to-back -back that I plan for you guys for the people that like it. One of which is going to be today's video. Today is about a defense, which I wanted to put this out in practice mode too, but there really wasn't a lot to talk about in practice mode. I wanted you guys to see how well this defense works because it's kind of crazy. You're going to think that I'm nuts when you see the setup to this defense because it's essentially playing like a 3D man all game, but ultimately it's one of the better defenses, one of the best pass defenses that I've found. And typically when Madden's come out, out, the defenses are usually trash just about every year so you have to think outside the box and that's exactly what I'm gonna do in today's video before we get into that though let's go and let's take a look at my mud team for the people that are following along rocking a 25 KC team right now my team is based off of speed uh, Jamar Chase is like 91 speed Patrick Mahomes I want speed and throw power Patrick Mahomes Saquon Barkley though I have Raheem Mostert he gets a lot of play time uh, Randy Moss Tyreek Hill McCall Hardman in the you know as a backup receiver uh, and then Darren Howard and OJ or, I'm sorry Darren Waller and OJ Howard are pretty much you know gives me all the weapons I need. I have a great offense as far as that's concerned. On the defensive side, uh, I really feel like I need to upgrade my linebackers. I don't really have a ton of these, um, you know, ability cards, to be honest with you. Like, I don't have enough active superstars to even make out a, a full uh, roster yet, but I'm not too worried about that because I don't rely on superstar abilities. I rely on my schemes, my offensive, my defensive schemes, the strategy. I'm going Niners offense, which I just put out an ebook, and then Dolphins defense, which I just put out an ebook. I'll have a link in the description for both of those. My opponent's first three cards are looking pretty good but i feel like i have one of the worst teams out of all the games that i play i gotta get more superstar abilities on my team that's probably like the number one thing and i have like no training points at all right now so starting off on offense i'm just i'm just gonna go a little vanilla here i'm just gonna hit him with a fullback dive this is something you know i put out this scheme all this stuff everything you see in this video i put out schemes and practice modes and i'll have links in the description uh for these videos if you guys want to see more in-depth breakdowns of the things i'm doing the first play there this is a run scheme that you know i, I put out first week of man you saw one with the fullback inside the next play going to go the opposite way with the power because there's no inside lanes he's coming out in the mid blitz it looks like and like i said we're just having a ton of success so that's why i have two really good running backs you need two really good running backs to run this system it looks like he's still in that cover three so make something happen here and then that was a close one. Oh, that was phew that was close. I thought that was an interception. I'm going to go right back to this series of run plays. I'm going to motion this guy over here just give myself an additional lead blocker. Uh, looks nope. like he ran commit. Oof. All right, so third and two. Now fourth and two. I'm going for it. I'm in no man's land here. So I'm guessing he's going to run commit again. So we're going to pass. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit him with uh, the PDF slide. This is a really good dink and dunk play. Should be able to get two yards easily in the flat probably. Looks like he's playing flat. So yeah, okay. The man coverage right there. I mean, the man beater was wide open because he was playing hard flats. Oh my goodness. Good tackling, bro me help me oh let's go i mean I, i'll take that i mean i was just, i just wanted two yards i'll take 45 and a touchdown because this is really what i want to show but the, the formation you use doesn't really matter right here i'm using the three through five odd uh, you want to put some uh, safeties in at the linebacker spots typically, but all I'm really going to do is run the cover two man. Now, I don't necessarily think I have a ton of time to, to show you guys, um, you know, the, the full setup here, but let's go ahead and let's try to get this, get this in. Oops. <clears throat> You know, that's typical stuff that beats man is still going to beat man. I mean, that's that's the bottom line when it comes to this defense. So let's go ahead and let's switch up. I'm going to hit him with an all-out blitz on this next play. This is a defense that I just put out. I'll have a link in the description for this as well. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, you almost had it. And, oh, come on, bro. I mean, I can't complain because I squeezed one in just like that. So let's go, let's go right back to some cover twos because ultimately, I mean, that's how I play defense in Madden 22. I go from cover two man 
to uh, all out man blitz. That's really it. Cover two man and man zero to me are the best defenses. So here we'll go with a cover two and have a different formation. All I'm really going to do is put this guy here on a mid zone, on a deep mid zone, right up the middle, the middle linebacker or safety. Typically, I want to have a safety there. And that's pretty much going to be the most of the adjustments. There's a few more things I could do, as you can see right here, the outside still a little bit weak. I'm going to have to start shading to the outside or shade inside. You know, that's really uh, the, the key to this defense is you really have to tell the defense which way to shade. But I got to bring these safeties down, though. That's one of the things that I haven't been doing so far bring the safeties down a little bit and they'll get into passing lanes a lot better these safeties don't do much from where they are it looks like we're gonna get a covered sack no we're gonna keep going with these cover twos and switching it up from cover twos to man blitzes that's really the only two defenses that you uh that work you got to keep your opponent off balance when it comes to this game and when it comes to man blitzes i'm gonna bring these cornerbacks or these safeties rather down as far as i can looks like he's gonna roll out here not a lot of time he's running for his life i guess he saw the mid blitz coming run bitch all the way to the sideline and completes it on me. I'm going to go and go with the Sam Blitz because this is an amazing run defense and I'm, I'm sure he's going to run first and goal from the three. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! You can see the man blitzes are really key because you can't let your opponent get too comfortable in the pocket. The setup is easy. All I have to do in the mid blitz is motion this guy over, hug him to the right end here, and you're going to see this defensive end a lot of times comes right off the edge. But there, they picked it up, and oh, that's right. Yeah, that was great coverage. I haven't hit him with a cover four quarters yet. Like I said, this is the only other defense I play is cover four quarters. Same setup, really. I'm just saying the house. These cover four quarters typically do a pretty good job of uh, coverage, which is why I like it, although that cornerback just got pooped on. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Was that Ramsey? Let me tell you, Jalen Ramsey's just so bad in this game. I don't know why. He doesn't really make a lot of plays. So back on the offensive side, I'm going to hit him with a... I'm going to go with a... There's a, I have a really glitchy play that I, I plan on making a video about as well out of... Uh, I'm not even sure the formation, but this is the dagger. And like I said, it looks like we have... Oh, he's... Oh, there we go. Break yourself, fool! That's a glitchy play. You see how how wide open he was? That was like 20 to 30 yards. And I guarantee those cover four cores. Exactly. People run cover four cores a lot. They don't realize it's one of the easier defenses to glitch if you have the right play. And that is the right play. It doesn't just be that though. If you guys want to see that def or that offensive play in a in a video, make sure to hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, or subscribe because I do plan on putting that out in a gameplay as well. You know, man blitz and cover two man. That's really all I'm going for right now. And you can see, like I said, the drags. I mean, he's just, you know, the crossers are still getting me. We're going to get the full setup in this time. We're just pressing. Bring these safeties down manually. Now, this is the full setup right here. We got that full, that, that cover third, or that mid third right there. Look at that. They get nothing. Bringing everybody down to the box. Now, third and fourth, same defense. Got that mid third. Safety's down the box a little bit. So we're taking away all these crossers because we're pressing. We're pressing those cornerbacks, and boom, he gets nothing. He might have got, what, a yard or two there? Oh, four, okay, it's going for fourth and two. All right, so like I said, same defense, pressing, bringing those safeties down. We're going to shut this down right here. Get over here! Oh, we shot the gap. Let's go. So, yeah, that was a nice, nice, nice defensive series. I'm up a touchdown. I look at the clock. I got a minute 29 left. I don't want to score too fast. So let's just go ahead. Let's milk a little clock here, although he's taking away those run lanes. That's okay. He's trying anyway. Yeah, I could have went outside. I mean, he had outside shoulders, so maybe I couldn't have... Still rocking that cover four quarters. Like, bro, you didn't learn? All right, well, we're going to go right back to that dagger play. We're going to try to put the dagger in him right now. We're going to try to bomb it up again. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> Got him! This is just one of the most broken, especially when it comes to cover four quarters plays in the game and we gotta quit see ya i guarantee you he's saying like oh my god that guy was such a cheater no i'm not a cheater dude cover four quarters is easily glitched so second game let's do this again on the first player i'm probably just gonna bomb it up and try to try to beat him down the field with that play again because that play is super broken and a lot of people run cover four so we're gonna pick that again we're gonna go with that dagger all right so yeah i'm not sure what he's in but he's pressing which is a which is a mistake so i'm watching that rb oh my goodness yeah we got to cover three Break yourself fool You see a B's cover three. I didn't score. No adjustments. And I'm making all these plays with that play. If he's in cover three, let's try to hit this fullback. This is a this is a really good cover three beater. Hopefully I can get this play out there. That's not really even looking like it's there. Oh, oh, wow. Alright, so went the whole length of the field and got nothing. Alright, three wide. Going with that cover two man again. Like I said, pressing. Playing that middle third. And then I'm gonna use this defensive end here try to take away these crossers 
And, oh, that guy's just too slow. That guy was too slow. All right, but it's okay, though. We're stuffing him. We're stuffing him right now. He's not getting a lot. Like I said, that's the point. Now that I'm getting all the full adjustments in, it's playing pretty shut down. We're going to send the house here. Oh, okay, got that flat. All right, so, yeah. All right, so we got the first. Kind of thought he was going to run the ball there. Uh, let's go ahead and let's hit him with some of those man blitzes. Like I said, you really got to mix it up. It's really got to be... To me, I just run a lot of cover two man. I run a lot of man blitzes. So we'll go mid blitz here. I said easy setup. Just got to bring this guy in opposite the running back, and we're going to get an instant lane here. Run away, run away. That was a close one. That was close. The defense was there, though. Rocking with that cover four. Like I said, I'm expecting run possibly. Ah! And we got heat off of both sides. He, had, he might have had some, but he was loading up there. But that heat comes in so fast, it just doesn't matter. So, third and ten. We're having a lot of success with these all-out blitzes. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Yes, look at that. We, I think we hit him on all three straight throws. Alright, so we're going right back to that glitz play. No more messing around. No more missing the nice guy. We're going straight for the dagger. We're going straight for the dagger play. No adjustments. Looking like he's pressing too much. You can't press this play. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> That's going by a lot. Easy money. Like I said, cover three probably, yep. Like I said, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if you guys wanna see a full breakdown of that play because it's absolutely broken. So let's go ahead, we're going right back to that cover two. Like I said, I'm in a position here. I don't have to send heat all the time, but I know that he's gotta be expecting heat. He's gotta be expecting some fire up the lane. We're gonna get some heat anyway. Woo! Let's go. I mean, we're getting so many sacks now. Like, he's gotta be thinking like I'm sending the house every play. This game is all about keeping people off their rhythm, keeping people off their timing. So let's go ahead and let's rock the cover command one more time. What? Oh, what? How did that not touch him? That's one of the downsides of the cover two man that I'm doing. You'll run into that problem a lot with running quarterbacks. All right, so send that heat one more time. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And boom, get another sack. Like I said, real easy. Just got to walk that defensive or that outside linebacker in next to the defensive end. You get instant pressure. We're going to keep going with the mid blitz. Like I said, he's struggling with that. Between this and the cover two, getting a lot of stops. Oh, we get off the edge. Gotcha, bitch. And we're getting an interception. Let's go. So, yeah, this, this video might be about the mid blitz. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but you can see this defensive scheme is really works. He's just getting sacks and interceptions, and he's going to quit. See ya. I'm going to end it there. If you guys want to see more gameplay defenses and stuff like that, more gameplays in general, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.